In this video, I'm going to give you a quick beginner's tutorial on how to use Canva to create your own custom images and designs. I've divided the video up into these sections or chapters, so if you're not a beginner, feel free to skip ahead to the section you're most interested in. But if you're new to Canva or just want a refresher course, I recommend watching the entire video through to the end as I take you step by step through everything you'll need to start making awesome designs starting today. Canva is a graphic design tool you can use to quickly and easily create stunning designs. Whether they're for videos, websites, or even business cards or posters, or merchandise like t-shirts or mugs, Canva can be used to create designs for tons of different use cases. Canva is used by content creators to create graphics and edit images and photos for use in their videos. YouTubers use Canva to create their video thumbnails and banner graphics. For example, you can take a photo of yourself and then use Canva to remove the background and then add text and other elements to make a cool thumbnail for your video. That's what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. In fact, you can even use Canva to create and edit videos. As of September 2023, Canva has 135 million active monthly users and has become one of my most valuable and most used software apps. If you're a beginner, then Canva is probably the easiest design tool to learn. And best of all, there's a fully functional free version that just may be all you need. So without further Further ado, let's get into the tutorial. To get started, you first need an account. If you already have one, click the login button up here, or if you don't, click the sign up button. Remember, signing up for a Canva account is free. There's a paid version called Canva Pro that you can upgrade to later, but the free account may be all you need. Next, choose whether you want to log in with one of your social accounts like Google, Facebook, Apple, or Microsoft or with your email address or mobile number. If you've already been to the Canva website, you'll see this welcome back message with options of logging in. I'm going to go ahead and log into my Canva account using Google. Hey there, freelancers. Are you ready to turbocharge your Fiverr success? I've got something special for you. Introducing my newly updated and free ebook, 100 Fiverr Orders in 30 Days. Inside, you'll find proven strategies and tips to boost your Fiverr gigs and start racking up orders in no time. And the best part? The ebook version is absolutely free. Just go to my website, robthemaritimer.com, enter your email, and you'll automatically be sent the download link. That's it. Or if you really want to support my channel, you can order your own hard copy version from Amazon. A purchase link will be included in the email. So head over to robthemaritimer.com right now to get your free copy and kickstart your Fiverr journey. Now back to the video. Once you've created an account and logged in, you'll be presented with the Canva dashboard. There's a quick menu on the left with links to your projects, templates, and a way to set up brand logos and colors. And at the bottom, you can see all your recent designs. This section will be empty if you just signed up with a new Canva account, but once you start creating designs, you'll have quick access to open them from here and continue editing them. Near the top is the You Might Want to Try section, which has several options for you to click if those are what you're looking for. What I usually do is I go right up here and click Create a Design, since I typically already know what I want to create. From here, I can either choose one of Canva's suggestions, or if I already know the size of the design I want to create, I'll click Custom Size and enter my design's dimensions, then click Create New Design. But if you're in need of some inspiration, then check out the What Will You Design Today section. Canva offers a wide range of professionally designed templates for various purposes, and there are a few different ways to access them. The templates link on the left will take you to a page where you can search for templates of all types. Choose the type of template you're looking for, apply filters like Style, type, and color, then scroll through the many choices. If you find a design you like, simply click on it, and it will open in a new Canva tab in your browser with the template in place ready for you to edit. You can also search in the What Will You Design Today section by clicking through these options or searching for something more specific. And finally, if you click Create a Design, you can choose one of the suggestions here or use the search bar at the top. Let's go ahead and choose a YouTube thumbnail design. If you select an option here, it will open a blank canvas in a new Canva tab. You can then start building your design from scratch or search for a design template here on the left. If you find one you like, click on it and the template will be loaded onto your canvas ready for you to edit to your liking. Once you've selected a template, it's time to customize it to your liking. 
You can easily change text, colors, fonts, and even add your own images. You can edit any of the elements in your design. You can change the size of the text or images, change their position, rotate, or even delete elements you don't want. It's very easy to start with an existing template, then customize it to suit your needs. With Canva, it's easy to upload your own images and photos. To demonstrate, let me start with a new blank canvas, and I'll walk you through how to create a custom YouTube thumbnail. Click the Uploads tab here, then click Upload Files and locate the file you want to upload. I took a photo of myself for this video, so I'll upload that. Once uploaded, I'll click to add it to the canvas, and then you can resize and position it however you like. It's that easy! Let's continue our design by adding some text and some other elements. But first, let me show you something that's super cool. The Background Remover Tool. Like some of the more advanced tools, this one is only available if you have a paid Canva subscription. To remove the background from my photo, I'll make sure the photo is selected, then I'll click Edit Image, then Locate and click the Background Remover Tool. Canva will work its magic, and after a few seconds, the background is gone. This is super cool and opens up a whole bunch of design ideas. Next, let's add a background. We can choose an image, a solid color, or even a gradient. At any time, we can reposition or resize the photo, or any other element in our design. Next, let's add some text. You can choose from a variety of designs shown here, or simply click one of these headings here. Be aware that any time you see this little crown by an element you can bring into your design, that means it's only available for free if you have a paid Canva subscription. If you're on the free plan and you use a paid element like this, then a Canva watermark will appear on your final downloaded design. You can still use the design as a draft or for personal use, but to remove the watermark, you'd have to upgrade to a paid subscription and re-download your design. Let's continue adding some text to our design. And then let's edit the look of the text by changing the colors. This looks good, but now I'd like to add a border. To do that, click Effects, then choose Outline. I can then change the color of the outline and the thickness here. If I want to add more text, but I want to keep all the formatting I did for this one, I can right-click the text, click Copy, or just press Ctrl-C in Windows or Command-C on a Mac, then right-click the canvas and click Paste or Ctrl or Command-V, and you'll get an exact copy of your text. You can then modify the text to suit your needs and repeat as necessary for any other text you want. Let's continue with our design by adding some other elements. I want to add emphasis to this text here, and one way to do that is to put a rectangle shape behind it. To do this, we need to understand layering. When we add a new element to our design, we may need to adjust how it's layered with respect to the other elements. To change the layering, select the element you want to move forward or backward, then click Position. You can then move it forward, backward, or all the way to the back, or all the way to the front. You can change the positioning of any element you need to by first highlighting it and clicking Position. Next, I want to add a solid color behind the text, and I want to add it on an angle. By using the Rotation tool, Copy and Paste, and Layering, you can create some pretty cool designs. And if you need to zoom out to get a better view, use the Zoom slider below the canvas. Be sure to take advantage of different shapes in the Elements tab, and also the Duplicate feature to quickly add new elements to your design. Then, simply change the color and size of the shape to suit your needs. Once our design is finished, we'll want to download it. To do this, click the Share button here, then click Download. Choose your file type. For this YouTube thumbnail, I'll go with the suggested PNG file type. Another cool feature that we're actually not going to use now is the Transparent Background option. Let's say you wanted to create a logo, but with a transparent background you would click this option. This feature is only available to paid subscribers, and we actually don't need this for our YouTube thumbnail, so we'll just go ahead and click Download. And that's all there is to it. My new image file will download to my computer, and I'll be able to upload that to YouTube as my next thumbnail. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this one. I make videos and host live streams on helping you level up your videos. If there's anything I haven't covered yet that you'd like to learn more about, leave a comment below and let me know. I'm Rob the Maritimer, and I'll see you next time.